on the lookout for this man. Monty Hall, deal maker. Got a deal for you. Con man. Oh, I think I'm going to faint. Thug. Down, down, down. Favorite tactic, bait and switch. Well, listen, before you sit down. Entices contestants with living room sets, then confuses them with cash. 525. 550. He's quick-witted, fast on his feet, and capable at any moment of a devastating zonk. Watch out for Monty Hall on Let's Make a Deal. Monday through Saturday at 8.30 Eastern, only on Game Show Network. Let's meet the Murphy family. Marty, Michelle, Bill, Chris, and Jason. Ready for action. Playing against the Thompson family. Cynthia, Sean, Tanya, Terrell, and Bridget. On your marks. Let's start the family feud. With the star of Family Feud, Ray Coe. Thank you so very much, and thank you for joining us this morning. I feel great. I know we've got wonderful families. I, I know that we've got the cash to give away, but do the families have the answers? Say hello to our returning champions, the Murphy family. Hi. Michelle, how are you? Just super. Your family has 8,385 big ones. So close last time on the show, uh, Jason almost brought it home, yeah. but today you're going to do it? Yes, we are. Who'd you bring once yes, again with are. you? Yes, we are. Okay, I've got my brother, Marty. Yes. His son-in-law, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hi. My sister, Chris. She's a sweetie. And her son, Jason. Welcome yeah. back, Jason. Yeah. You're going to have to play pretty sharp to beat your opponents. They're, they're pretty determined. I want us to make them feel real special. Say hello, America, to the Thompson family. Yeah. I'm doing fine. I, uh, are, you, are you really as enthusiastic about being here as you I seem? am delirious with enthusiasm. Well, we'll see if you can translate that into a win. Who'd you bring with you? Good looking people. I brought my wonderful cousin, Sean. Hello, Sean. Hi, my sister, Tanya. Hello, Hi. sister. My cousin, Turo. Turo? And his yeah. sister, my cousin, Brigitte. Welcome Hi. to the show. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. If you're ready, I say let's play the feud. Come on. Let's go, Cynthia. The first family to $300 is going to play for $5,000. Good luck. We ask 100 people this question. We have the top six answers on that board. You try to find the most popular answer. You always find rings on fingers. Where else would you find a ring? Cynthia. On an arm. Ring on an arm. An arm ring didn't make our survey, Michelle. Bathtub. How about the old bathtub ring? <laughs> Number one. Think of a skier. Think of a skier. She starts out right on top. Marty, Ray. welcome back to the show. Thank you. Now, you might be an expert on rings. You always find rings on fingers. Where else would you find a ring? In a circus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good one. Maybe. At a three-ring circus. Howdy, Bill. Hi. Family's starting off good today. <laughs> of course, you always play well. So give me one of those answers. How about an earring? Yeah. You might yeah. find it in your ear. Yeah. Good job. Hi, Chris. Hi, Ray. How are you feeling? Great. You've got one of those answers for me? I hope so. What do you say? How about in a bull's nose? Yeah. Yeah. Stick it in there. Show me a bull's nose. Oh, yeah. Your nose. Oh. Your nose ring. Jason? How you doing? You've got an earring. Uh-huh. No nose rings. <laughs> nope. All right. I like a normal guy. <laughs> Always find rings on fingers. Where else would you find a ring? Let it out, ma'am. Don't try to hold those laughs back. You can oh. hurt yourself. <laughs> Toilet bowl. What do you, well, crowd, what do you think? Is it up there? 
Jason, this one's for you, pal. <laughs> Show me those toilet bowl rings. <laughs> ah, the crowd knows. All right. So they are there, but they just didn't make our survey. Okay. All right, Michelle. Okay, and I'm going to stick with dirt and do sink. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe one of those two answers is sink. <laughs> Thompson family, you're going to get a chance to steal that $76 if Marty can't tell me. Somewhere else you'd find a ring other than a finger. In a bell. Yeah. A bell? A, in a bell. Ding. Yeah, dong. yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Let me see. Yeah, the bells, the bells. <laughs> Show me the bells. <laughs> no. Thompson family, you're going to steal the bank. You always find rings on a finger. Where else would you find a ring, Bridget? On a toe. On a, a, a toe ring. Okay. <laughs> Terrell. A collar. Ring around? A collar. A collar. Tanya? A shoe ring. A shoe ring. I'm going to say collar. A collar. Now, Cynthia, you're going with them around on your own. What do you say? I'm going to have to go with them and say collar. You stole in that bank if we say ring around the collar. You got the bag. Thompson bag. You always find rings on fingers. Where else would you find a ring? We didn't know. Number six. Hello. We're gonna come right back. Don't you go away. I promise a lot of fun today. See you in a minute. How about that? Good stuff. Who said we don't have a towel? you back to When pliers won't grip, ratchets won't click, and wrenches won't fit, you just have to quit. No way! Introducing the Squeeze Wrench. It works in virtually any space and fits any place. Look, in this tight space, an ordinary wrench can't turn. But with the Squeeze Wrench, you can easily tighten with no trouble at all. A simple squeeze of the handle accelerates the Squeeze Wrench to tighten or loosen standard and metric nuts and bolts. Now easily tighten a ceiling fan blade, repair a barbecue grill, or install a light fixture where no other tool has gone before. If you can squeeze toothpaste, you can operate the Squeeze Squeeze wrench. You can even reach a bolt behind the oven without moving it. The secret is internal ratchet action that allows you to get power in impossible places, like behind a door handle or in between a crib. Watch, this handheld driver gives you limited power, but the squeeze wrench is over three times more powerful on the same bolt. Now adjust a rusty lawnmower, install a garage door opener, or tackle any tough automotive job. Hey, stop busting your knuckles with a regular screwdriver, because the squeeze wrench comes with these screwdriver attachments. Now any hidden screw is easy to get to. Why spend hundreds on tools when all you need is the squeeze wrench? During this special TV offer, you get the squeeze wrench, five metric socket inserts and four standard socket inserts, this quarter inch bit adapter and two screwdriver bits, all for only $19.95. But it gets better. As a bonus, we'll include this compact carry case to store your squeeze wrench in the kitchen, workshop, or trunk. Yours free. The squeeze wrench comes with an incredible lifetime replacement warranty. If it ever breaks, wears, or fails, we'll replace it free for life. No questions asked. So order now. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-548-9400 to order your squeeze wrench for just $19.95 and receive the bonus carry case free or send check or money order to this address. We also accept checks by phone. Call 1-800-548-9400. The Thompson family, $76 in the lead over our champions, the Murphys, who have zero. Let's go. It's Ty Marty for another face-off against Sean. Are we ready? Marty, ready. before we go, now, I found out during one of the breaks of the shows that you have a unique talent. I want to share with America. To, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you sing. Would you mind giving us a few bars or something? Not at all, Ray. Go ahead. You can look the camera if you want. That one there? Wherever you'd like. Just this one here. Okay. Oh, makeup. I'll take you home again, Kathleen, across the ocean wild and wide, to where... That's enough. All right! right. <laughs> I'll take you home again, Kathleen. Sean, if you'd like to do a number. Uh, no number? <laughs> Nothing prepared? Nothing. Okay. All, right. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. The top five answers are on the board. You ready? This is a great question. Name a kind of shark. Shark. Great white. Let me see. The great white shark. Numero uno. Good job, 
job, Sean. Oh, the Tommies have come to play. Tommy, do you know your sharks? Name a kind of shark. Um, the... You can do it. Three seconds. Take a guess. Now, the crowd needs to be very quiet, not say anything. Carol. A hammerhead shark. All right. All right. Show me. What a name. What a name. Show me a name like hammerhead. Like a Superman character. Yeah. Escape with Hammerhead. Brigitte, how are you? Fine. You're a cutie. Thank you. Do you know your sharks? I think so. Okay. Can you speak up? Because I know the judge is okay, going to say. Okay, I think so. Okay. I'll Don't yell at me, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Shovel nose? A shovel. A shovel. Shovel. We go to the judge. She said shovel nose, shovel head. Shovel. The judge said you said shovel nose. Good okay, let me see. Let me see the, the popular... Wait. Show me the popular shovel nose shark. Mm. All right. Murphy's, you're going to get a chance to get on the board. If Cynthia can't tell me a kind of shark. I'm going to say a killer white. A killer white? Yes. I've never heard of that one, well, but... Well, it could be there, because I don't know my sharks. Well, well... You're alive if we see the killer white. All right. Jason, name a kind of shark. Nurse. A nurse? Shark? Nurse shark. Well, you do know your sharks. Chris. Sand. Sand shark. Bill? Blue shark. Blue shark. Marty? Card shark. A card shark. Okay. Card, card, card. Sand. What do you want him to say? Sand shark. A sand shark. If it's there, you stole in the bank from your opponents. If not, the Thompsons have $76. Three answers on that board is one of them, sand shark. Certainly. Truck is there, Marty. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Show me number three. Make it. Did somebody say that? No. Okay, number four. Tiger shark. It's seventy-six dollars to seventy-six dollars. This is the feud, and we're coming right back. Doesn't get any closer than this. Seventy-six to seventy-six. Good job, Sam.